So uh, let's have a little bit of fun, guys. Uh, this is going to be a little irreverent. So the first thing I want you guys to do, because this is so much fun, is I want you to be able to just say, free my bunk, because it's so much fun to say. So everybody, all together, one, two, three. Free my bunk. No, no, come on. We can do better than that. You got to put a little spunk on the bunk, OK? So one, two, three. Free my bunk. OK, that's what I'm talking about. Now, the first question you're going to have is, what the heck is Vunk? Vunk is all of your virtual junk. Now, I got a definition up here which is kind of, you know, specific. You know, it's going to go into Urban Dictionary, that sort of thing. But it's all your swords, shields, armor, special potions, access to special levels, all that crazy crap you have in your video games, which is actually worth something but there's no way for you to monetize it right now. Vunk is also, if you put it in all caps, Vunk is a token, a token which resides on Ethereum and which we'll be using, and I'll explain more throughout the, pr the presentation. So I picked this image to illustrate what the video game metaverse is. By the way, if you've never heard of metaverse, that's a reference back to a classical cyberpunk book uh, written by Stefan, uh, Neil Stephenson called Snow Crash. If you haven't read it, you have to read it. It's awesome. But if we were to look at the video game metaverse, the first question we would have is, why is everything so disconnected? These are like islands of economies that can't trade between each other. Why would this ever happen? It's part of its evolution, but we can change it. So let me tell you a little story about the first time I understood the value of Vunk. I was 10 years old, I'm gonna date myself right now, but I was 10 years old playing my favorite game, Baseball Stars. This was on the original Nintendo system. Anybody play Nintendo in here? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Nintendo was awesome. This was a great game, but it had something really specific about it which made it unique. It was the very first sports game to incorporate the battery pack into the cartridge, which made a very significant advancement in gaming you could now save the state of your game on the cartridge and you could pick up the next time you were gonna play. So this enabled a lot of really cool features. Oh, by the way, just to increase the irreverence in the room, when you guys get the concept of Vunk, I want you to just shout out, free my Vunk. Because I want audience participation, I want to hear from you when, you when you understand what I'm talking about. So this game, free, it was save my state and the, so I would be able to build a team, I'd be able to trade for players, hire, fire players, and even inside the players themselves, I could augment their abilities by the cash that I had gained from winning previous games. So I gotta tell you, I played the heck out of this game. I mean, at least 100 hours, and I had maxed out every single player on my team. Every single one. So my buddy Will came over, by the way, uh, uh, Will Smith. That, that, he's actually playing this game in the picture, by the way. This is awesome. Uh, Will, Will came over, and we were playing a game. And uh, I, I used my team, of course, and I just trashed him. I mean, I crushed him into the pavement. It was something like 54 to 6, OK? And while he was fuming after the game, he turned to me and he says, I'll give you $10 for your team. And I was like, what? Yeah. Give that man a t-shirt. <laughs> he told me $10. And I was 10, OK? My allowance every week was $2. That was over a month's allowance for what I had done in this game, which is just basically build a team. And then we tried to figure out how we were going to do it. How, how were we actually going to transfer this team? But what it taught me was that Vunk has value. It has real world value, that people are willing to pay for the things that you've created in the virtual worlds. So I'll give you a case study. This is a study that just came out this year, the collectible card game industry. So many of you guys know this as like Magic or Hearthstone. Nearly two thirds of all the people who play these games play them digitally. But three quarters of all the monetary investment goes towards physical cards. Why would you ever do that? Do you not like the game in the digital world? 
Plus, your physical card, if it gets bent, scratched, spilled coffee on or whatever, it loses its value. Why would you put your value into such a media? And the answer is because you can monetize it. You can walk down to the store and you will get cash from the, from the guy at the store for your card, according to its trade value. Whereas in the digital, the game has it imprisoned, held hostage. You can trade within the game, but you cannot get money out of the game. It's sunk cost. But we can change this. I'm going to talk about three components that we have for our project that we believe will make a success. So the first is the movement. I'm going to talk about each one of these individually. The second are the tools and the plugins. The third is the marketplace. And what wraps all of this together is Vunk, the token. That's right, baby. Free my Vunk. And we call all these things together the revunk illusion. <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a I'm gonna give you guys a little benefit. So if you uh, will follow me on Twitter and you tweet to me five of the games represented by these weapons down here, if you can identify what games they come from, I'll give you a free T-shirt. Free my Vunk? <laughs> you kidding me? So the movement. So this is all about educating gamers and getting them angry. Telling them why they can't monetize their assets. This is all about incentivized evangelism. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, and, about that in a second. And we're going to have mainstream media attention. So I'm pretty excited to give you guys a little bit of an announcement. We've had someone join our team, which uh, is, is pretty important to us. He is a... Hollywood movie screenwriter and producer. His name is Skip Woods. You probably don't recognize his name right off, but you will recognize his movies. Movies like Swordfish, A-Team, Die Hard 5, Hitman, Wolverine. And he's going to be putting Free My Vunk into the spotlight in the, main, in the major cultural media. And the goal of all this is to put consumer pressure on game develop developers to tokenize their virtual assets. Because we believe that, game, that big game companies are not going to want to do this initially. It's going to be the consumers, the gamers, that push them towards doing this. And I just post over here the manifesto. I'll have the manifesto available to anyone who wants it in the back on uh, the next break. So Vunk, how, what, what is it and how we distribute it? Well, it's an Ethereum token smart contract, and we give it out. We don't sell it. This is not a crowd sale. We're privately funded. We're giving it out for evangelism. So, we have a, so we'll have social media trackers, and every single time you tweet, post on Facebook, put on Instagram, hashtag free my Vunk, and if you have set up an account on our website, we will add Vunk to your digital wallet. So that's like the mainstream public way of distributing the token. But we're also going to be using uh, Colony, which is something you're going to hear about later today. And it's a decentralized governance platform where every single member of the colony, once invited, they're going to be able to influence the way uh, the movement is directed. And they're going to be able to gain a large amount of Vunk because we're going to give the same amount that we give to the evangelists, we're going to take all that and dump it into the colony as well. So the tools and the plugins. So what we do is we go to video game developers. We enable them to do asset issuance and registry. We take that registry, which we build in Ethereum. We link it to characterization files in IPFS, 3D virtual you know, visualization of the sword or whatever you want. We provide in-game connections to Ethereum wallets. And we can even provide these tools to them for free. So an example of the first company that's come online to join Free My Vunk is Spells of Genesis. Some of you may have heard of them. They raised over almost 1,000 Bitcoin in their BitCrystals crowd sale. In the first month, before they released their beta, they sold $20,000 worth of cards. And they burned half that amount according to their economic model, which makes it profitable for those who bought in. And they're looking to use Ethereum to build tournament smart contracts. Now, I show this to an indie game developer, and they are salivating to want to get in. 
because that's a lot of money to build their game when they're living off ramen and kidney beans. <laughs> and finally, the last part of this is that we provide the marketplace. So why does token, why does Vunk, to, why do Vunk, Vunk tokens matter? It's because these are gonna be required in order to post trades on the marketplace. People who have accumulated Vunk will be able to trade for free, but people who come late to the party, they'll have to buy the Vunk in order to do it. And this is the way we abstract the cost of ether for trustless escrow and, and, and in trading. They don't have to pay the ether, we will and then we will uh, just charge them Vunk. And we'll have digital wallets that access this marketplace both inside and outside the game, and this will be instant advertising for all of these game projects. So what we really are doing is we're providing bridges between virtual worlds. These black markets that have existed in forums where people risk being banned from the game that they're trying to monetize, these are evidence for the frustration and the demand that we have in this market. Video gamers already embrace new technology. They, they, they already know digital wallets. If we wanna look for who the average user is that we're going to connect with immediately with Ethereum, these are our guys. They will adopt this readily if we can abstract some of the more nuanced aspects of the blockchain. And indie game companies will be the first to adopt because they want the exposure. They need market share. And, and accepting and, and developing on new technology is the way they do that. So who are we? Well, we're six people right now. And we, we fulfill a whole lot of jobs. But we want to be more. So who will join us? We're looking for developers of all kinds. Artists, podcasters, bloggers, traders, Organizers, game enthusiasts, if this excites you, we want you with us. And we think we can make it a meaningful experience. So this is the way you can contact us. Basically, any sort of uh, social media outlet that, has, that can let us use Free My Vunk will be there. And you can meet me at the back for stickers and manifestos and t-shirts afterward. But I just want to share with you a last little meme here. Anybody who loved Duke Nukem growing up, let's stop staring at the Vunk. Let's go get it. That's, what I, that's the end of my talk, guys. Uh, I don't know if I have any, a minute for some questions. Okay, cool. Basic question. <laughs> that's a great, I mean, that's a great point. So we believe that a successful business has to target a relatively small uh, market in order to be successful, especially at our stage. But there's no reason why this doesn't expand to a variety of things. I mean, we're talking fantasy football leagues, airline miles, um, you know, reward credits. There's no real limit to what this can do. But we believe that the need and the demand in the video game market is going to drive this really fast. Cool. Well, I'm ready to free my bunk. I don't know about you guys. Thank you, Tyler.